pet project is carbon removal. So uh, you've probably heard about carbon offsetting. Of course, you know about the climate crisis because you're here on earth and we're all experiencing it. What can, you know, one of the things that often comes up is how can you be a sustainable traveler? How, how can sustainable and travel go together? Because we all get on planes and planes create carbon dioxide emissions. And that's what's, what's heating up our planet and creating this unstable, unpredictable world. Flights are, so travel overall is 8%, contributes 8% of global emissions. Of Within that 8%, flights are possibly about 12%, maybe more. Uh, so the flight I would, I would highlight is not the most carbon intensive aspect of your travel. It's one, it's important, I'm not minimizing it, but when you think about being a sustainable travel traveler, don't just think of your flight. Think also about where you stay, what you eat, what kind of ground transportation you use, where you shop, et cetera. That's my preamble on uh, sustainable travel and climate. One of the things, however, we have learned is that we have enough carbon dioxide stored in our atmosphere that even if all emissions were to halt today, it would take 900 years for natural systems to cycle through that CO2. So we need dramatic reductions across the board in every aspect of our lives, travel included. When it comes to aviation, the, the means of decarbonization are not as readily available to us as they are in other sectors of travel. So we can very readily decarbonize accommodations, meals, ground transport. We have electric vehicles. When it comes to air travel, it's a harder one to decarbonize quickly. So what are we going to do about all this stored CO2? We're going to have to use some technology alongside our natural system. So alongside trees, which absorb CO2, and the oceans and the soil, we're also going to need some forms of technology. And there are really sensational innovators out there who are developing carbon removal technologies that can take CO2 from the atmosphere and store it permanently or use that CO2 in products. I encourage you, if you're curious about this, to look into groups like airminers.org. You can also, um, you know, Google carbon to value. It's such a dynamic space. There's a lot going on there. Um, Tomorrow's Air is our initiative in travel. We are aggregating travelers and travel businesses to support carbon removal innovators. Um, as you can see in this chart, travelers and businesses provide funding. Tomorrow's Air is uh, an intermediary. We're generating support for carbon removal through inspiring education and outreach. Have a look at our Instagram uh, for an example. We also develop research and speak at events. There's a podcast called Arrows on Air. We vet carbon removal suppliers and we facilitate purchases. So individuals and businesses can support uh, carbon removal innovators with direct purchases. One of our first, uh, our first supplier, carbon removal supplier, is a direct air capture company based in Switzerland called Climeworks. You may have heard of them. They're kind of the darling in the carbon removal uh, tech space right now, one of the darlings. They, uh, I could go into the technology, should I? Briefly. Carbon collectors suck CO2 from the atmosphere, uh, from the ambient air, not from a smokestack or a flu stream. That CO2 is then injected underground in Iceland in basaltic rock formations where it mineralizes within two years. So um, that is tomorrow's air. And also I think a great example of how tourism can sort of be at the forefront of a complex um, environmental issue. 